welcome to another episode of Flystream Fishing, guys. We just got the first mystery tackle box in the mail. Let's go ahead and crack her open and see what we got. I did take a little sneak peek at the lures in here. We did pretty good. I just it doesn't say what the colors are, so the colors are gonna be just like a random mystery surprise. Darn, that's the wrong knife. There we go. Okay. Go ahead and get our box open. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. Let's let you guys have the first look. Let's see if we did any good. Oh wow, yeah. I'd say we definitely did some did pretty good. We got Harmony EWG hooks. Perfect for um, Texas rigging and stuff. They said you can also use these for wacky rigging in the video. Um, I, I don't think I don't I think that they would be good. Um, then we got some Scorpy tail. They look like flukes. Um, but it's definitely a lot shorter. There's, these would probably be good for like drop shots or something like that. Um, and then we have a. football jig gt football jig um it looks like let me see what color is this that's green pumpkin red purple it's definitely a really good looking jig especially for right now whenever it's cold outside you would just be dragging it on the bottom and then we got a um really nice cd2 square bill crankbait or no this is a this is a coffin bill crankbait really really nice uh crankbait though Definitely be planning on throwing this on my bait caster. Then we got a um, exo some exopods. We can use that as the jig trailer. Then we got the Guggen Squad revolver and Shattered Shad. Definitely love this color. I've been wanting a Shattered Shad revolver for a while. Just the stores around me just don't carry them. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at what we got in the rest of the box. That's a really sick sticker. We got that sticker, then we got all the, um, what it says of all the way we got. We can squad revolver, Jinko fishing, CD2, uh, crankbait, um, buy with Scorpio tail, Molex GT football jig, buy with spawn exopod, and harmony fishing company razor, series EWG hooks. Okay, and then we got the, uh, the dibble, the good old dibble. All right. Well, we'll definitely be throwing some of these. Let's go ahead and get them all in um, in my tackle bag. So let's go ahead and get my tackle bag up here. Let me put all of this stuff over here. There we go. Okay. Got my tackle bag. Great, we're open. Okay, so first off, we got the Harmony hooks. Let's go ahead and get these in the... Um, In the box where they're supposed to be. I think I'm gonna put these in the um, smaller spot. There you go, Harmony Fission Hooks. Hey, and I'm going gonna go ahead and put that sticker on my tackle box. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now we got the, um, let me see here, we got the soft plastic worms, uh, the flukes, or the scorpion tails, I guess I can go in here, or actually, let me see, will they fit in my, um, soft plastic box, or here, let's go ahead and put the crankbait in here, it's definitely a very nice crankbait, I honestly can't wait to throw this, I think this thing's gonna be absolute banger during the springtime, especially with that bluegill color. Throwing that around beds. It's gonna be perfect. The colors on that, oh my gosh. It's got a big, huge BB in it. But that color is just like beautiful. Um, let me see, where's my knife? Go ahead and get the um, thingy, the rubber band cut open off of it. Okay, there we go. See, let's put it in my square ball spot. It's got 
Oh, I was going to say it had tiny treble hooks. I guess it was just the angle that I was looking at it. Okay. Um, the revolver. Let me see if we can put the spook right there. Um, let me put the popper right here. Okay. Revolver. Let me see. Let's go ahead and crack this open, too. Shout out to Guga. I love their products. I'll definitely catch some good fish on with Guga and stuff. Okay, there we go. There's that beautiful shattered back shad revolver. It's definitely going to be good for whenever it starts to get warm. And um, start throwing it while they're blowing up. Okay, then we got the uh, football jig. And the soft plastics. Let's go ahead and get this thing out. Okay, got the GT football jig. Definitely going to be throwing this while it's cold, that's for sure. Especially with them exopods. Wow, that's just a beautiful jig. Dang. Look at the coloration on that thing. Okay, let's go ahead and put it in the jig spot. Okay, then we got the uh, Biospawn Exopods. Let's go ahead and crack the sticker on this. Okay. Now then, let's go ahead and get this. Biospawn Exopods. They smell so good. Remember to always break the little part that's on the claws. Okay, let me see. How do I want to do this right here? We'll put those together. Okay, perfect. Three and a half inch exopods going in. Let's go ahead and see where we can put these on. Let me see if I can get my soft plastic, my other soft plastic box. Let me see. I was honestly expecting these to be bigger, like actual fluke size, but I'm kind of glad that they are not, because this is going to be a really, really good drop shot. The head's kind of weird on that. Okay. They're four inches. I guess, I guess I... I mean, I heard that on the video, but I guess it's, I guess I just wasn't paying attention. Um, but that's what it looks like. It's got, like, a little scorpion tail. Um, let me see. We can probably fit these. We can put these over here. And then we can put the scorpion tails right here. Perfect drop shot bait. Now, if these were in white, I'd be killing them right now. There we go. And that's all for today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you can see whenever I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.